Hi everyone, my name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. My customers have been asking if I'm going to make another oatmeal milk and honey soap and I have decided that I am going to make one and today I'm going to make it in a slab mold because I have had that many requests for it. I am changing it up a little bit from the last time I made it in that I am actually adding in some extra goodies into this one and I'm also giving it a much more simple design because I'm going to be including this one as part of the essentials range so it'll pretty much be available all of the time. So let's jump into it and see how I make my oatmeal milk and honey soap. Let's go. Let's jump straight into making this one. I have my oils all ready to go here. We are making a slab today. I have got my lye water solution here, which I'm just going to very gently pour into here. I'm going to give it a very light mix with the stick blender, and then I'm going to swap over to the whisk because I do want to try and keep this as fluid as possible. I have done an oatmeal, milk and honey soap before, but I'm adding a few extra goodies into this one. So I want to try and keep this one pretty fluid. So I'm getting rid of the stick blender for now because I do want it to stay this sort of consistency. I have reduced the amount of um, water I use to dissolve my lye in, so that always get, gets the soap to trace a little bit quicker. And the reason being is that a few weeks ago I showed a video of making some oat milk to go into some facial bars and I have got the rest of that oat milk to go into this one. So let me pour that in mixing it in to make sure it's well incorporated and I really really do like using this um, oat milk as I explained in the other video I get to control what actually goes in it I don't have any ingredients in there that really don't belong in soap I don't really know why you'd want xanthan gum in there but there's nothing wrong with using the store-bought ones if you want I have still noticed so adding um, the homemade um, milk into there it does still trace quickly as does um, using the store-bought ones it doesn't really make much difference for that but it does mean I get to control my ingredients a lot more the next thing I am going to add in here I'm going to put some colloidal oatmeal in there because I really like the texture it gives and it is also so good for the skin as well so we'll get that stirred in and I do also have some honey to add in here which you know what, let's be um, risky and add that in now. All right, so that is in there. I decided it was best to actually stick blend that in just to make sure that it was well incorporated to get this... Um, this colloidal oatmeal to disperse throughout the soap properly as well without getting any sort of lumps of it throughout my soap batter. All right, so now that I've got that mixed up, I am going to split it out for a few colours. In this one, I have a really nice deep gold called Opulence, I think this one was. I'm going to pour off a fair amount for there. I also have another jug which I have got some bronze sparks mica in, so we'll pour off some of that one and then into a much smaller jug here I have got some titanium dioxide it is not going to go and stay white it will go into a really beautiful tan sort of color just because of all the honey and the oat that is actually in this soap into my big bucket here I am going to add in my favorite mica um, my extravagance gold I really like the sparkle let's pour that in I have got another bag of it sitting up on the shelf so I can quite easily replenish that one but I do love this gold it has got so much sparkle in it and it really comes through into that final soap as well so we'll get all that mixed in and while I am doing that I have got my fragrance oil here now if you have actually seen my previous oatmeal milk and honey soaps you'll know I'm not a fan of this particular fragrance and a lot of people have been asking me to make another oatmeal milk and honey soap for my range and I've not been able to get it from my supplier for so long and then I saw that the fragrance shed had the version of it from um, nature's garden so I thought you know what I'll just get that one in so we can make 
my oatmeal milk and honey soap and it smells so completely different to any of the Australian suppliers of that fragrance oil. It is so much nicer. The Australian ones are very cloying. You smell them and they are just sickly sweet, but they kind of stick in your nose as well. This one has that sweet smell of honey and that creamy smell of the oatmeal in it, but it doesn't seem to stick in your nose and you know clog, clog in the back of your throat. So it is really, really nice. So I can kind of now understand why so many people really do like this particular fragrance. I have become a fan of it since I've smelt the one from um, Nature's Garden. And you know what? If I am going to continue making this soap, I will probably keep investing in. In that particular fragrance because then I don't have to blend it out with any other fragrances which I did on my last video I will leave a link up in the corner and the other really nice thing with this fragrance is it has really thinned this batter out so even though I have got um, lots of oatmeal in here lots of honey this is going to be a beautiful beautiful pour so let me finish getting these colors in then we will bring the slab over and we will get to pouring all right we have got the slab i've got a little ring in there because that is where i put my stick blender when i wasn't using it but now i'm going to pour this in i actually just can't believe how fluid this actually is with all of those accelerating ingredients it is beautiful smelling really good as well so we poured about half of that in and now all i'm going to do is just drop swirl the rest of these colors in here To really finish this soap off I have got some melt and pour pieces here which I have made into some honeycomb so I just melt down my um, melt and pour and then I pour it all over a piece of bubble wrap I did try doing a video on it but um, I got disturbed halfway through doing it thought I'd turn the camera off and in actual fact I hadn't and then when I came back and turned the camera back on I actually turned it off so we didn't get to see the filming of it but I will try and make it again for another video one day um, I am going to do I was going to do little pieces and stick them on but I decided instead we would do big strips of honeycomb I know that just really hides that top that I've just done but you do still get to see a little bit of it and then as one final finishing touch we are just going to sprinkle down some oats just to really finish it off some of these will probably fall off when we go to cut the soap but you'll get the general idea here i think that piece on this end is much bigger <laughs> than some of the others let's knock you off there really really pleased with how this one has come together i'm going to bring you down for a closer look okay so here is the oatmeal milk and honey all done up with all those extra goodies in it i am absolutely loving it i think once we get this cut it will be so super cute with each bar having its own little strip of honeycomb there really really loving the colors in this one too i'm gonna leave it here, sit here overnight and then we'll be back in just one moment and we'll cut it open and we'll have a look and see what swells we got on the inside cut into our little individual logs I am really really pleased with this so far it is smelling really good and those colors are absolutely gorgeous 
I have also been able to line that piece of honeycomb up perfectly into these bars. What I'm going to do is cut this one on its side so we don't get any drag marks from the oatmeal through the soap. I'm also cutting it so that all that oatmeal is facing me so it doesn't actually drag them down as we're pulling it through the soap bars here. So get this one all nicely lined up and we will start cutting. Alright, through we go. Looks like we're going to get some really nice sample sizes here. Going quite slow because of all that melt and pour. It is quite thin and my soap cutter doesn't seem to mind it too much. We are through and we're going to take a look. Alright, so let's grab these two from off the end here. Oh, and that is the inside. Doesn't that look so delicious? Looks like there's a big dollop of cream just dumped right in the middle of that and you can see that the um, that gold mica is actually sparkling in there I have got a little bit of fragrance leakage on this one um, but as I've said in previous videos whenever I get that I just leave it on the curing rack for a few days and I find that it does actually sink right back in doesn't affect the smell or anything else and perfectly fine to use I am so pleased with how that's come together. Such gorgeous colouring in there. I'm um, pretty much like the original one I made, except for we've got all those extra goodies, including the colloidal oatmeal and the honey in this one, not just the actual fragrance, plus that fresh oat milk rather than the store-bought stuff. That is the top of the bars as well. Really pleased with how that has come up on there. Absolutely loving the sparkle and shine on that one in there. It's so pretty there really really pleased so I have decided that I will be doing this one as part of my everyday range so I will make sure that I have always got the oatmeal milk and honey in my um, in my little stockpile here and will always include these extra additives in there as well for all of those that keep asking me for it so I'm only going to cut this one loaf on here for you today because the others are going to be pretty similar there. I hope you have enjoyed watching my remake of Oatmeal Milk and Honey. And if you did, why not leave me a thumbs up? Any comments down below. If you've got any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And until the next video comes out, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.